compare data and information, information is processed information that anybody can get a better, a proper understanding. The data, just something like your name, first name, second name, email address, but information is much more focused, right? And sensitive. So then what is the sensitive information? So sensitive information is information that you don't want to share with a third person. Probably if you share the sensitive information with another person, you are at a risk of monetary, meaning money wise or some other. For example, let's say you have, because the reason is when I ask uh, people, what do you think about sensitive information or what are the sensitive information that you have? Mostly they say that credit card information, uh, account information, uh, social media uh, credentials, of course, yes. But what about if you have very personal photo that you have taken? What about that? Sometimes more than your credit card information, if somebody steals your personal video or image, that can be much more sensitive than everything else. So I hope you understand, right? And then personal data is really important. Now, sometimes, and sometimes when we talk about security, some people used to say that I have nothing to hide, right? I have general information in my device. So I don't care if somebody steals my information, but it's really, really a risky statement. The reason is sometimes your information may not be important to you, but others they must be interested in. So something similar to this, I'll give you an example. In Sri Lanka, so we are living in a villages or urban areas and so on and so forth. Now let's say if someone comes to your house on a car, right? So it's just normal to you. But do you think that is normal to your neighbors? No, right? They are very inquisitive sometimes. They would need to know why that car came to their house and who has come, why they have come. They have all these questions. So the countries like, you know, Australia and other, you know, developed countries, they don't care about who's living in other, other, other house and who are the neighbors. They don't really care. But with our culture, we are still in a uh, era where everybody is interested in others' information. So now, for an example, uh, there are certain acts in the world, something like FERPA, right, uh, and HIPAA, Health Information Portability and Privacy Act, and uh, the fi uh, you know financial, the insurance related act. So these acts govern the rights of the people, right? So sometimes I have seen, sometimes doctors explain about the patient's information in front of others. I have seen in Sri Lanka. But these countries, only patient would know about the health records, right? As a profession, doctors and all health, health information uh, systems are created not to allow anyone else to access this information. If access, they are at a risk of, uh, you know, uh, taking legal uh, actions against them even uh, you know uh, educational information now in our country in sri lanka right so then uh, sometimes parents much more interested about other people's uh, children than their own children so they whenever let's say if there is an exam and when the results are published usually the parents are more interested in others results than their own uh, children result right uh, but uh, in 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 other countries most of the countries uh, that is sort of, uh, you know, violating these legal systems. So then they can take actions against it. And especially uh, in, in other countries or most of the countries, uh, when you are over 18 years old, let's say you have a, when you are 18 years old, even university cannot disclose your educational information like your uh, marks, even with your parents, without your consent. That is the, uh, you know, uh, that is how they treat personal information. And uh, in, in Sri Lanka, usually I, I, I was conducting uh, training on Asia Pacific region. Uh, before uh, I came to Australia, there were some countries that I was working with, uh, Sri Lanka, Nepal, Bangladesh, Cambodia, Vietnam, Philippines, all these countries. Uh, usually after the class, we used to take a 
you know, a group photo at that time, right? So now uh, most of the classes are virtual. Uh, I think all the classes are virtual. So those at that time before two, three years ago, nobody believes in virtual training, right? So then uh, usually we, we, we do in-class training. And once the training is completed, we take group photos. And sometimes the sales team, they take just photos without even asking. But here, uh, in, in you know, I, I, I'll give you an example in Australia because I'm working with Australian companies now. So even if you want to take a photo, you need to get a consent from them, right? If you are taking a photo, you need to ask them, can I take a photo? Even if you take a photo, no one will publish or it on Facebook or, you know, their own websites without getting a written consent. But other countries, even including Siskia, sometimes we just, you know, take photos, not, not we actually, the sales team, you, they used to take photos and they publish the Facebook. Nobody cares. Even the, the students, they're happy that they, you know, they can see the, the group photo on the web. But the other countries is different. So that's why sometimes we are not, uh, we don't understand the personal information or PII information properly. Uh, but I hope you get an understanding here, right? So, and then, uh, then, then same way, organizational information also really important. Organizational information is really inform important. Uh, because the reason is, if anybody gets this information, organizational information, you are at a risk of different kind of attacks. How? Because if you, uh, if you started learning about offensive security, Right. So then you will know something called attacker faces, attack faces. So there we will take you through some different uh, methodologies. And from that, we will take you through collecting information from different sources. So more you have information, it's easier to hack or easier to compromise target system. So because of that, even organizations have to protect their information because otherwise it can be um, uh, you know, issue for the